Hi all, welcome to SoulsKB and are you stuck in uh, this automatic repair loop? Whenever you start your computer, you are getting this error. Automatic repair could not repair your PC. On this screen, you have to click on advanced options for uh, restoring your system to a previous state, which is the working state of your system. So go to advanced options, then you have to go to system restore on system restore you have to select a uh, earlier system restore point which was created from so here in this case i'm choosing this one and next after that this will asking for the finish and i'm asked i have clicked on finish and it will take some time to get the restoration done so this will restore our system to a previous state which was so now it's asking for reboot system so i'm going to press restart to restart this system this is the Data which we are going to this so let's wait for the uh, restart to happen and after restart we have to we may get an error message that the inaccessible boot device so we have to ignore that message for now and we can ignore this message this is inaccessible error uh, boot device error so we are going to perform our next step and that is to advance option again and go to startup settings now in now we went over to safe mode click restart now and this will open the restart menu with the different modes so we are going to and press enter a uh, numeric key 4 and then this will op open the safe mode now press 4 here this will boot our system into safe mode and we can check whether our system is fixed in safe mode or not let's see wait for it to boot it into the safe mode it will take some time as i mentioned i tried different method for repairing the system with the dism and sfc scan now but that won't work in my case and in yours as well so this is the fix we have to follow look at this now it is undoing some changes which was done by updates and our system restore i think will get successful let's see we take some get into the if we get our desktop then it means our system is restored successfully so here we have system restored on the same date which we have selected earlier so problem is resolved here so we have to restart our system back to the normal mode now and after reboot in normal mode if we get our system desktop in the normal mode as well that means the problem is resolved and you can subscribe to my channel if you like this video and you can share with your friend as well who all are getting this error message so i want to thank you all for watching this video stay tuned for next upload related to windows error